friends in this video i am going to calculate the curtailment bar cutting length so i am going to calculate the bps of this 3 by 4 panel 3 by 4 meter panel this length is of a 4 meter this direction is of a 3 meter for easiest calculation i have taken 3 by 3 and 3 by 4 meter so this this is the top bar provided in staggered manner this uh, indicates 0.2 l this length and from this point to this 0.3 l for l whichever is higher in the same direction we have to take as a l here one is uh, length is provided in the beam this is the longer length and this is one is the shorter length so this length is 0.15 L2 so both side we have to deduct 0.15 into L2 L2 is from this beam to this beam center to center distance between two beam here the beam width is of 230 mm 230 mm so center is of 115 and 115 addition of both center beam is 4.230 meter here this is the end of the slab in this portion we have to take it as a 0.1 into L from this to this and then L development length here in the section it is mentioned from this to this 0.1 into L and this is the and then development length we have to add it further I will explain how to calculate the cutting length of the each bar keep watching it here I have taken as a one example 4 by 3 meter panel in the bottom bar bottom bar is 10 mm both side we have provided so for cutting length 0.15 L2 into 2 minus L2 you will get 2, 2.960 number of bars 100 mm center to center so for this direction we have to take for this length how many number bars is provided in this manner so 3 meter minus both side we have to deduct clear cover from both this slab from both this side of this slab so 50 then minus 50 2.9 2.9 divided by 0 0.1 plus 1 you will get 30 numbers but uh, 30 number is not provided because uh, both are provided in alternate so we have to divide by 2 we will get 15 numbers so 2.960 into 15 0 0.617 0 0.617 is a unit weight of the 10 mm bar 1 meter length is of a 0 0.617 kg here we will get 227.394 kg in this direction for longer bar in uh, beam beam is pro uh, lap is provided in the beam here you can see we have to add 230 mm both side plus 4 meter you will get 4.460 in this 50 number here you can see for a longer beam in the 14.27 kg in the direction of L3 L3 is of this direction so for, for the same calculation we have to take it 0.15 from this side and 0.15 from this side so 0.15 and 2 l3 into 2 minus 3 2 3 0 because uh, from this beam to this point is uh, 3 2 3 0 then we have to know what are the numbers of the bar is provided so for this this uh, longer direction we have to divide by spacing so 3900 because uh, both side we have to deduct clear cover from both this side 3900 divided by 100 plus 1 we will get 40 numbers so 40 divided by 2 for, uh, for the alternate provision so we will get this cutting length in the direction of L3 so for longer bar 3 meter plus 230 plus 230 mm you will get 3.460 
Here we will get summary of this 4 139.236 kg for a staggered manner top bar this is the tension reinforcement so here you can see this is a 0 0.2 l into 0.23 0.3 l here you will get 3 into 4 to 3 plus 230 mm beam width and 0 0.2 l into 4.230 will get the cutting length number of parts for shorter direction 2.9 divided by 100 plus 1 30 number so we have to provide 30 numbers both are in same length so 2.34 into 40 into 0.395 because the top bar is of 8 mm dia so the unit weight is of 0.395 so 27.78 kg both side we have to provide it as a both side from this side and from both this side so 2.34 into 30 1395 into 2 55 point 56 kg in the longer direction you will take 2.35 same length you have to take it because the longer length is of a, to a 4 meter panel so we have to take it as a 0 0.2 into 2 4.23 same length for the number 0.395 for both sides you will get 74.102 and this is the summary total 129.662 total steel for slab only 3 by 4 meter panel is 268.89 kg for uh, total calculation of the each bar for example I have calculated from this to this type this area for example if you want to calculate from this side so what we are going to do first after completing this one we have to mark that if we are we are calculated this area and then we have to calculate only from this and to this this portion we don't have to count this top bar only we have to count this portion then we have to mark that uh, we have calculated this area then we have to mark this one that uh, for this area only we have to calculate this the bottom bar because uh, at that point this we are calculated already in this portion so we don't have to count again and again so we have to mark each and every area so now further I am going to explain in the excel sheet I have already uploaded the video about how to calculate the BPS of uh, reinforcement so now I'm going to going to write the each and every length and weight of the each steel Now I am going to show you the plan of the cutlement reinforcement bar. Here you can see this is the drawing of the slab. 
this is the bottom bar alternate to z this is the outer 0 0.1 into l 1 these are provided in staggered manner here you can see this is provided in staggered manner one, one star indicates that the 0 0.3 into l and two star indicates that the 0 0.2 l l is greater of l1 and l2 this is the lab is provided in the beam this is the distribution reinforcement this one is the distribution reinforcement this is the bottom reinforcement as shown on the floor plans this one l1 Top bar is staggered. I hope you like the video. Keep like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for the watching.